Today, I am going to share all the things I don't necessarily talk about. I'm going behind the scenes. So I'm going to talk about the actual making of these videos themselves and uh, all the little things in the sewing project that are too tedious or I just don't feel like are worth talking about. So let's get casual. Let's get into it. Step number one is rearranging the place. Good lighting makes a big difference. So I've got this little homemade set that I use. This umbrella helps to diffuse it so that it's nice and even. This is with no light and then light. So the sun is basically my main source of light. And then this one is what's known as a fill light to fill in all those little shadows. And then finally, a little glow of yellow to warm things up a bit. Besides good lighting, the other thing that's important is good audio. And because I move around a lot with these sewing projects, I use a wireless mic setup that goes back and around and hangs out on my belt. And then that gets picked up by this receiver, which is connected to this 10 year old Canon 60D that I use. All right, we're all set up. Let's uh, move on to some sewing stuff. With each one of my projects, I start off with one of my two block patterns. These are the two main pieces I use for making tops. And I've figured out the shape on this based on a series of YouTube videos and blog posts and things. Um, I will eventually do a video about how I went about figuring this out. Um, but starting off with this, I can make just about any top. Like let's say it's a button up shirt, then I'll just do half of the front and add in a little bit of a pl placket and then do two of those. If I'm doing a t-shirt, I'll do this as one whole piece, but let's say it's a button up again. Then I've got this separate piece here that can then be used to make the placket in the back. Um, if it's a jacket or coat or some sort of outerwear, then I go out on the sides a little bit by an inch or two to make sure I have the extra room I need. There's also my sleeve pieces. So this makes for a short sleeve, but then I can just extend it out if I want a long sleeve. And then I have a whole bunch of these little things like this I use to make the top part of a collar. If it needs to be bigger or smaller, I can just extend it on this side here. This piece I use to make plackets for long sleeve shirts that go here. And then I do the same thing with pants. I have this basic block that I start off with. This is the front and that's the back. Double it up and I've got two pant legs. I also have the various accessories like back pockets, zipper pieces. And yes, uh, I will eventually make a video about how I came up with this as well. Now moving on to my equipment and starting off with this one. It's my regular sewing machine. It's a Singer 3102. And I got this one specifically uh, for no other reason than it was $60 at a flea market. This serger uh, was a bit more of an investment, but really happy I got it, uh, a Genome. 1110DX. And it's great for two reasons. I use it to sew knits, so jerseys and stretchy fabrics like that. But I also use it to finish the raw edges on uh, other fabrics. And um, it's just the difference between, you know, silver, gold, silver, and gold. I find there's also a lot of repetition with sewing. Like I'm constantly snipping threads, tucking away the surged ends, pinning, ironing, basting, and just doing those over and over every step of the way. And I bring up those things because, well, to include them in every video would just make it way too long. 
Then there's the actual act of filming the process and setting up all of the different shots. It ends up doubling the time for every project. So something I could probably sew in a day ends up taking two days. And now over to editing corn. Editing doubles the time yet again. Oh, geez. All right. Ooh. Editing doubles the time yet again. Uh, I take a couple hours worth of footage, boil it down just to the good bits, adjusting and tweaking the lighting to be as consistent as possible, some graphics, a little music, exporting, posting, all those fun things. It's a lot of work, but I enjoy doing it, so. Returning to my patterns once more, and this is the front piece of the upper body, and you'll notice by the sleeve, the right side hole is much smaller than the left side. I do that to accommodate the discrepancy in size between my right and left arm. See, when I was a little boy, I had this farm accident where this big old piece of equipment fell on top of me, tore some nerves by my spine, and a couple of the muscle groups on the right side never quite developed. My right hand also doesn't have the same mobility as the other side, but by sewing these clothes, it's a, it's a way of me taking ownership of that accident. All right, that's it. Back to sewing clothes. Let's get to work. <laughs> 